Hey everybody, you're working on the John Deere today. We just took the front end loader off the front. Um, and we're gonna give it, start servicing it and give it another good check over. So we'll rip the bonnet off in a minute, I think. And then we'll just pretty much jump straight into it, start changing filters and oil and whatnot. Do the same in the cab for all the cabin air filters, give it a clean up and just give it a go on over and see what's wrong with it and yeah, see what needs to be done. So we'll get that bonnet off and then we'll come back at you. All right, we've got the bonnet up and we've got the side panels off and Dad's just gonna change the oil filter just there and then we'll drop the engine on it. So you just pull the air cleaner assembly off here. There's a secondary filter inside it, you gotta unscrew. So I'll unscrew it now. And then the other filter just sits in there. So we'll have to pull that out as well and chuck the new ones in. A bit of hay in it. Before I put that filter back on, I'm gonna give this, uh, I don't know if this is the radio, this is either trans cool or for the AC, it might be the AC, put the radio's behind it. I'm gonna give that a blowout quickly with the air compressor. So I just stuck a rag in the filter there so no dirt and dust goes in that new filter. That should keep it pretty right and we'll quickly just give this a blowout.
right, that's looking a bit better. So truck this filter in now and that'll be uh, done. All right, I've got the air filter back in. It's all secured, so that's ready to go now. Check the coolant level. We might do a coolant change on this down the road, but I don't think today. That looks all right though, where it is. Might put a little bit in it. So Dad just finished the oil change on it, so it's going to start it up and run the oil through the filter, all up through it, we'll recheck the level, and then we'll do the fuel filter on it. See the old uh, dipstick's busted off for the rear axle and the trans and whatever. So there's no dipstick on there. So we've got a freshie, fresh off the factory floor. Put in there, brand spanking new. Being not a genuine part, it's uh, a slightly different shade of green, but she'll be right. So here's the fuel filter on it. The one we got given from John Deere, it's different. It doesn't have the uh, water separator bowl at the bottom of it. It's just the actual filter itself and you can't put one on. So we might take that one back to John Deere and just ask him if this is the correct one. Give him that fleet guard number that's on that one that's on there and see whether or not that's right. If this is the right one, then we'll just chuck it on there, no worries. But they may have given us the incorrect one. So we'll get that sorted this week. So I'm going to do the interior cabin filters. Now the fellow that owned this, he didn't clean it out very often. So those vents are absolutely chockers block full of straw and hay and dirt and crap. So I think those filters are going to be pretty well knackered. So like we've got a couple of new ones. And there's just two behind the seat. Quite a bit of dirt in there, but that's to be expected. So here's the old one, definitely due for a change. So as you can see down in the bottom of the, where the filters go, she's pretty dirty on both sides. So I'm just gonna give that a quick back out, get all, most of that dirt out of there, just so it's not blowing through the cab when we're Start it back up, so give it a quick vacuum. So I just finished vacuuming, looks much better in there now. Got most of the crap out. Now I took these couple of new filters in and then that'll be done as well. All right, Dad's just pulled off the exterior uh, cabin pollen filters, which go one there and there's one in behind that cover as well. So here's the old one. Looking pretty at it, and there's a comparison to what a new one looks like. So she's pretty much rotted away. What do you reckon about that? Crap. Right, so we finished up for the day, gonna come back tomorrow and we'll do the transmission and the hydraulic oil and we'll change the two filters on there as well. Um, and yeah, we'll just see whatever else has to be done, check the front axle oil, give it a grease and um, yeah, we'll be pretty much almost done with it I think. So, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Morning everybody, back again. Dad's just started 
uh, he's dropping the trans and hydraulic oil out of the bottom there and he's going to change the two filters so he's just trying to find the right socket under the sump on them um, yeah there's not too much left on it as we did yesterday we finished up on the engine should I go find out about that fuel filter um, yeah, here's the two filters for the transmission so yeah once he's done that probably check the front axle and the hubs and grease a couple of grease nipples on it and then it'll be probably just about it I think there's too much left to do on it alright that's finished dropped the oil he's put the two new filters on so he's got to fill it up now I'll take a little bit it takes about 58 litres so fill it up with oil and then run it then we'll check the level again and just top it up a little bit once it's filled those filters up fully so yeah back in them out Alright, uh, just finished filling up the transmission and hydraulics with oil. Just had it run and rechecked it, so that's all good now. So, I'm gonna go into the front. Gonna pull that plug out a layer of the front axle and check the oil in there. And then, once I've done that, I will roll the hubs around to where they need to be and I'll check the oil level in there as well. And then, that's gonna be pretty much done. And I'll probably give it a scrub as well because it's a bit dirty and get it looking a little bit nicer. And then, yeah, we'll sort of make a list of what we need for anything that's broken. There's a few things on there we need to replace. And then when we get them, we'll uh, chuck them on. Sort of sort out that fuel filter as well, but we'll worry about that during the week. So I'll grab a breaker bar and we'll open up that plug and have a look. Just finished greasing the front end and just check the oil with Dad. That's all good. Dad was trying to undo the plug there to check the oil in the front hub. And he snapped the anvil off his buddy breaker bar. So, yeah, not much drop, but I think he's got another one, so we'll try and get it undone, see if he breaks it again. All right, so I finished checking all that hub oils and all that, and they're all good. So now yeah, that's pretty much the service done. So apart from that fuel filter, which we'll, I've said already, but we'll sort that out a bit later. Um, so I reckon I'll just give it a bit of a blast off now with the pressure washer, get it all nice and clean. And then we'll put the front end loader back on it, and then that'll be a done deal, I think. So I'll give it a screw rub up now. So I just finished washing it, uh, put all the panels on it, she's looking pretty good. Blasted a lot of just oil and crap off it, so yeah, come up all right for what it is. So that's not looking too bad. So yeah, that's pretty much it, done for the day. We're going to chuck the loader back on it and then finish up. So yeah, well, um, there'll be a few more repairs on it down the track, so we might video some of that, see how we go. So thanks for watching everybody, see you in the next one.